CNN is officially trash. Uh, so last night we had uh, one of the last uh, we had the last Democratic debate before the Iowa caucuses, and it was hosted by CNN, and it was bad, really, really bad. Uh, so now this debate followed a very lazy CNN hit piece released the same day, uh, alleging that Bernie Sanders told Elizabeth Warren at a private meeting uh, that a woman that a woman couldn't win the presidency. Which is ironic because just a couple of years earlier, Bernie Sanders was pushing uh, pushing Elizabeth Warren to run against Hillary Clinton in the primary. Since she did not uh, decide to do that, uh, he decided to jump into the race. Uh, now, again, a bit of an odd statement, right? Because you have 40 years of statements showing the complete opposite. Nonetheless, uh, the network took aim at Bernie Sanders. Uh, the Intercept had a headline that uh, the most vociferous opponent in the debate was actually CNN and not any of the other fellow debaters. Uh, and of course, Biden, who was still considered by many to be the front runner, basically left essentially untouched. He got tweaked a little bit on some of the uh, you know Iran, uh, Iraq questions, uh, but basically they left him alone. Buttigieg, of course, um, got plenty of time to speak, as did Klobuchar. Uh, and what happened basically is that CNN couldn't help but stoke the division uh, between Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders, a division that they're reporting, along with porting, uh, reporting from Politico, had widened in the last few days. So now let me get to uh, first some of the framing of the questions, right? So now a lot of the questions asked Bernie Sanders, and and this is a normal thing, so it's something that I always complain about after the debates, but the questions are very uh, framed from a right-wing perspective, right? So again, uh, let, let, the first questions they talked about is Iran and Iraq, and again, Sanders challenged Biden on the Iraq war. Later on, they went into a healthcare segment, uh, and one of the first questions, and this is something that Bernie Sanders gets every single time, how are you going to pay for that? Well, how are you going to pay for Medicare for all? Biden said uh, or, or uh, you know, repeated the lie uh, that it would cost an additional $30 trillion. That's not true. Uh, that's 100% false. It would actually be $2 trillion cheaper than our current system, according to studies, even from the conservative Mercatus Institute. Uh, so during the segment on war, they didn't ask how you're going to pay for it. And they had questions basically – Aside from a direct invasion of the U.S. or attack on the U.S., would you go to war without Congress's approval? That's what they asked everybody. And, of course, Bernie Sanders said absolutely not. Uh, and he was against war. Uh, he, he voted against the Iraq war. And that's something that, of course, he decided to hit um, uh, Joe Biden on very much so. so. So here's the thing. Bernie Sanders was focused on trying to attack Joe Biden. Whereas everyone else, including the network, was based on attacking Bernie Sanders because of his recent rise in the polls. Look, I, I don't have any problem with, you know, challenging a candidate. Like, I, for example, I didn't have a problem with challenging Pete Buttigieg or Elizabeth Warren uh, when she got to, you know, uh, when she got a big bump in the polls. Problem is the questions that they ask and the framing that they use to ask those questions. And that's where you run into some problems, right? Uh, so now, again, they, they don't ask how you're going to pay for war, right, as I keep pointing out. Uh, and what's funny is because we, we shower money on the Pentagon and nobody asks how we're going to pay for that. But yet when we ask to, you know, expand health care to everybody, well, we'd rather spend money to take lives instead of spend money to help protect lives. Uh, and that's how little humanity is worth in the eyes of uh, some people, right? Now, in another segment, uh, Sanders was interrupted by CNN hosts when he tried to try, uh, uh, tie trade into uh, climate change, right? So both of those things, they are linked. Uh, and yet Wolf Blitzer, uh, I'm sorry, uh, CNN hosts, not just Wolf Blitzer, uh, said, no, 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 we're going to have another climate change segment later so don't you dare talk about climate change whatsoever, even in your answer about trade. Well, that seems pretty ridiculous, right? Later on, uh, Wolf Blitzer also asked whether government 
should do anything to lower drug prices when nobody trusts the government. Again, right wing framing. Uh, Phillips also, uh, I'm sorry, Philip later asked uh, Sanders how he would keep his plans from bankrupting the country. So, look, nobody gets those kinds of questions or that kind of frame. I mean, look, let's be fair. Warren did back when she was uh, had more progressive plans. Right. Then she released her plan, for example, on Medicare for all her transition plan, which let's just say was panned by progressives. Uh, and that was around the same time that her poll numbers st started to flounder. Uh, and it was because she backed away from single payer. So now what's worse than some of the questions is, is the chirons they put up, the lower thirds, when they were asking those questions. And I want to show you a couple of examples. So let's take a look. So Warren supports a new trade deal with Mexico and Canada. Why is Sanders' opposition to it wrong? There's your framing, right? Sanders' proposals would double federal spending over a decade. How will he avoid bankrupting the country? Again, not true, but there's a framing. Uh, and then does Sanders owe voters an explanation of how much his health care plan will cost them and the country? I mean, these, these, you can see it right there. You can see it right there. It's dishonest questions, right? But they're coming at it from a framing of that's pie in the sky, that's impossible, right? A definite right-wing framing. And it, it bothers me, but look, not only did every question to Sanders get framed in such a way, but the CNN moderator had completely ignored Bernie Sanders' answer to a question uh, when he was asking, uh, when he and Elizabeth Warren were asked about this. Take a look. You're saying that you never told Senator Warren that a woman could not win the election. That is correct. Senator Warren? What did you think when Senator Sandru Sanders told you a woman could not win the election? I disagreed. Disagreed. But wait, you, you just, you just basically, he said, I, I didn't say that. And the moderator basically did, it, like ignored him and said, well, how'd you feel when he said that? But he didn't say that. He didn't say that. Like, ridiculous, right? Uh, super, super disappointing uh, when it comes to these moderators from CNN. They're not even pretending to be neutral anymore. They're not even pretending to be objective. They took their own hit piece released earlier that day as fact, and they immediately took Warren's side instead of asking Warren, did that really happen? What did you, you know, and if it did, what did you think about it? Instead, they presented this as fact. Nobody knows what happened in that room. Nobody knows what was said. All we know is the track record for Bernie Sanders when it comes to women's issues, when it comes to backing women, when it comes to backing women candidates, as he had done. Again, remember, he backed Elizabeth Warren back in 2015. There was a draft Warren movement that Bernie Sanders had asked her, please run, run in this election. She said, no, I'm not going to. Bernie Sanders stepped in instead. I remember that. I lived through it. <laughs> so it's garbage, absolute garbage. And it's right there. So now following this, CNN is garbage. CNN is trash. Started trending on Twitter. Uh, now let me uh, give you some tweets here. Um, let's see. Uh, CNN is absolute trash. Framing every question is Bernie is a horrible person. Uh, says one uh, Twitter user, literally the worst debate ever. Please end this. Another Twitter user going by the name of Walker uh, said CNN shouldn't be allowed to host debates anymore. So now, now what's interesting about that, right, is that a lot of people were saying about Fox News debates. Well, Fox News should be, we shouldn't do debates on Fox News. We shouldn't allow them because they're going to be biased, right? Fox News, going back to the debate that Fox News had done, they actually were more fair to all the candidates than CNN was to Bernie Sanders. They were more, actually more impartial. When Fox News does a better job than your network at being impartial, you know there's something wrong. 
I- instead of banning Fox News from hosting debates, they should ban CNN because this is obvious bias. Obvious. All right, more. Uh, Michael Cook says, I've been a Democrat and have watched CNN my whole life. Well, no longer after last night's horrendous debate, trashing Bernie Sanders. On and on. Uh, My Dakini says, Bernie went to Elizabeth Warren in 2015 and said, I think you can win. I think you should run. And it's quoting uh, something said earlier by um, Joe Scarborough. Now, Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski, now these guys are, look, Joe's a Republican or a former Republican, now an independent. Um, And even Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski are calling this out. Saying, what is that? That is bizarre. Why would you do that? When they're calling out CNN for being biased, like you know that's a, a real problem. You know they messed up. Um, finally, uh, let's see. That Actually, the rest of that tweet said, everyone knows Sanders has been a feminist for decades. To claim otherwise is gaslighting. Americans no longer tolerate narcissistic gaslighting. And finally, A.C. Monroe said it was awful. They are clearly against uh, bias against Bernie Sanders. They aren't impartial at all. It's not journalism. As uh, FAIR.org, that's the Foundation for Fairness and Accuracy in Reporting, um, they did a, a, a segment on that. Uh, they, they did a piece on that, calling out CNN for using lazy, shoddy journalistic practices. Again, they took four uh, anonymous sources, two of which talked to Warren afterwards, and the other two had heard about the meeting, right? So, of course, the only source in that room would have been Elizabeth Warren since it was a private meeting. They took that, used that as fact against Bernie Sanders. Look, that's what they consider to be reporting these days. No, absolute garbage. Total garbage. Uh, Now, A.C. Monroe, to finish up that tweet, says, it's sensationalism and ratings they are after at the expense of progressive candidates. It was a nightmare to watch. Shame on CNN. They are helping Trump. And I think that's something that we can take away. This not only helps Donald Trump, but also helps Joe Biden. And look, this is, this, is, this is a great way. This is something that uh, these you know, corporate channels, CNN, MSNBC, uh, the pundits, the consultants uh, who are you know, in the centrist establishment want. They want a Bernie Sanders-Elizabeth Warren feud. They want those two to fight so that Joe Biden gets left alone. And guess what? Elizabeth Warren never brought up the bankruptcy bill from Joe Biden. That's supposed to be Elizabeth Warren's wheelhouse. That is supposed to be something that she cares deeply about. In seven debates, why has she not brought that up? I mean, that's a good question. It's a fair question. And how, you know... And, and and you could see, of course, with Joe Biden being essentially left alone, Klobuchar, uh, Buttigieg, they don't mention anything about South Bend when it came to Buttigieg and how African-Americans, you want to talk about unity, right? African-Americans do not like Pete Buttigieg whatsoever. African-Americans, the two top candidates uh, that they go for is Joe Biden followed closely by Bernie Sanders. Elizabeth Warren has a hard time with African-Americans, although she is trying to reach out. And so they don't talk about any of that. But no, they create feuds like CNN, like Politico, like the Washington Post to try to divide the progressives uh, and and to try to basically stir up ratings and and gen up a fight between those two so that Biden can slide through. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Hey, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization... And the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYT Nation set up to help us rely on the you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. 
And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.